All right, guys. <clears throat> you know what we're going to talk about? Dirty chains equal rough shifting. Let me tell you what. They do. Our adventure is going up and going fishing there. Well, it's been kind of dry, and of course, the road we go over, it's a uh, wilderness road, gravel. Quite a bit of dust on the road, and that dust does build up on your chain, the oil on your chain, and a lot of that in the debris gets deposited back on your rear cogs. Cogs being your uh, free will or your gear cassette, and that can cause some rough shifting issues. It was for me. And basically all I'm saying is, before you go jumping in and messing with your derailleur and making adjustments to that, make sure you've cleaned your chain off and your gears, and then go back and try and see if your shifting uh, gets better. In my case, mine did. Because all those uh, little dirt particles and everything else, they're gonna build up over time. And that will definitely cause some issues with how smoothly you can shift gears. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Of course, you know, monitor your chain wear. I'd recommend you get yourself a uh, chain wear indicator. Park Tool sells a really good, reliable one for uh, 10 bucks. That's how much it cost me when I bought it. But depending on the type of riding you're doing, how hardcore of riding you're doing, and the quality of your chain, I would guesstimate you should get at least, and this is a guess, hopefully no one's running a stop sign here. I would guesstimate you should get at least a thousand miles. On your chain. That, that could be open for debate. I've seen numbers like 700 miles. Real world experience will uh, give us a good indicator of that. Ooh. My God, it's windy out today. No, that's gonna wrap it up, guys.